crotch on it, right? And we fall to this. Now, what was I supposed to do with my top leg when we jump sides? We got in this position, and normally, go body lock for a second, right? He was body lock, I can reach and hook. I was supposed to hook his bottom leg with my top leg. But, because he's crotch lock now, I can't reach. It's really hard. Even if I have two hands on this leg and I'm pulling it, it's really hard for me to reach. So, I'm always supposed to turn which direction? Towards the head or towards the legs? You're always supposed to turn towards the legs. Guess what we're not going to do? Turn towards the head. We're not going to turn towards the legs. We're going to do what you're not supposed to do. We're going to go towards the head. Okay? Now, if I were to let go of the legs and turn towards the head, what's going to happen, he's going to build up on his knees and he's going to have a backwards single leg. So I let go, I turn up, and he kind of builds up. And now we're in like a weird, you know, 50 50 position. No good. So what I have to do to avoid him from building up to his knees, anybody know what shrimping means in jujitsu? You know what it is? Yeah. Show me. Watch. See how he scoots his butt back? That's called shrimping. Watch what I do. Exactly that. As I turn, don't build up this time. As I turn, I'm gonna sit in his lap with my butt. So instead of just stopping here, I'm gonna shrimp back. I sit in his pocket. His lock moves from crotch to back and knee pit, maybe even lower sometimes on the cap. Watch again. I'm on his legs. As I turn up, I shrimp into him. It keeps my fat on his hips so he can't build up. Here. Make sense? Now, if I stay here, he eventually probably could get up. But for a second, I can win this. Now, from here, I'm gonna cross face hard, and I'm gonna bring my leg back and hip heist. Got it. Right? Now, let's get fancy. Last ditch effort. What would a guy do in that position? Alright, let's use our wrestling IQ. I shrimp, I get here, pause. What's something a guy can do here? Yeah, you can leg pass. Is that what you're gonna say? No, I'm talking about this guy, down here. So, this guy can leg pass. Now, if he were to leg pass, right, and I were to go with him, we end up in that angle to angle, hip to hip position, right? We end up here, 50-50, no good. So what you're supposed to do, guys, is you let him roll. I'm gonna stay on the same side as he leg passes. Watch what happens, okay? I'm on his legs, he's crotch locked, I turn towards the head, I strip in his pocket, he leg passes. Turn towards his head, shrimp in his pocket, either go ahead and go, and let him go. So what? Right? Now just fight this leg back. He puts me on top. Make sense? So I let him leg pass. Don't fight the leg pass though. I know I'm set, I say stay on the same side. Don't fight the leg pass. Let it happen. I almost like scoot with him. Watch what I mean. Watch my right knee. Right? Slow motion. Okay, let me go. So I shrimp from here and I pause. He's going to leg pass. This knee, if I fight, go ahead and go. If I just fight really hard, it doesn't do anything. Now, I'm going to scoop this knee closer. Go ahead and go. I stay on this side, but I let him leg pass, right? And now I can cross face, get my leg back, and get a takedown. Make sense? So that's what this one's called. All right? One more time, then we'll go try it, and we'll get a break. And outside, he crotch locks. You fall into a hip, and you can start right here. That's fine. Make sure you have the crotch lock. I can't hook the leg. I let go of the legs, I turn towards the head, I shrimp into his pocket. This way. If I can cross face off and hip ice, great, that's what I'll do. If he decides to leg pass, go ahead and leg pass, let him leg pass. Cool? Questions? All right. Snap, clap, mat, clap, mat, snap, mat. All right, all right. Snap, clap, mat, clap, mat, snap, mat. One more time. Snap, clap, mat, clap, mat, snap, mat. On two, ready? One, two. Go. Yeah.